This week, IKEA stores around the country welcome back customers for the first time since March, with people queuing for hours to get their hands on much sought after flat pack furniture, but without the joys of Swedish meatballs as the restaurants remained closed. In some places, people queued for over three hours before the doors even opened. And in other places, there were over 1,000 customers weaving their way around the car park. One of IKEA's marketing campaigns has been the wonderful every day, encouraging us to celebrate life's small victories and simple pleasures. Now, are you the sort of person who saves new clothes or exciting purchases for special occasions? Do you sometimes find yourself waiting too long for that special day that you've outgrown the clothes or the tasty treats are well past their best by the time you get around to eating them? We all look forward to special days and to celebrations. But particularly at this time, we need to reflect on how we can see the wonderful every day. Psalm 118 verse 24 says this. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. What a beautiful truth. And if every morning you manage to rise up and sing songs of joy, continue to be blessed. But if sometimes the rising of the sun has not brought you joy, but instead despair, perhaps we need to ask God for the strength and the courage to face each day with a heart of gratitude, whatever it may bring. Global events in recent months have reminded us both of the value and the fragility of life. To have breath in our lungs and a beating heart is a sacred gift from God. A beautiful reminder of this comes from a story that I read this week on Facebook. After a 93 year old man in Italy got better in hospital, he was told to pay for the ventilator for one day and he started to cry. The doctor advised him not to cry over the bill. But what the old man said made all the doctors cry. He said, I don't cry because of the money I have to pay. I can pay all the money. I cry because I have been breathing God's air for 93 years, but I've never had to pay for it. Do you know how much I owe God? I didn't thank God for that before. Just as IKEA encourages us to recognise the wonderful every day, our response to this gift of life should be to do that too. For over a year now, I've been writing down three things at the end of each day for which I am grateful. So often these are the names of people who encourage and bless me, but there are other things too. I must admit, though, that in recent weeks, where days have got a little less exciting and perhaps a tad more ordinary, highlights of my gratitude diary have included ready meals, socks and box sets. But then where would we be without those simple joys in our life? We live in both extraordinary days and oh so ordinary days. But as I have reflected this week, I have realised that there is beauty in boredom. When we don't have to constantly be on the move or ticking things off our to-do list, our mind can wander, our imagination can go wild, and we are free to embrace the simplicity of life. And when we invite God into the humdrum of our days, we can both receive much from him and offer much to him. There are poignant, challenging words found in the message paraphrase of Romans chapter 12. They say this. So here's what I want you to do, 
God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life. Your sleeping, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit in without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognise what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. You may be sleeping, eating, going to work or walking around more than ever. But even in the simplicity of our daily living, we can give it all back to God. A life loving Jesus isn't so much about the actions of our hands as the attitude of our hearts. This reminds me of a great song written by former generals of the Salvation Army, John Gowans and John Larson, which repeats the refrain. If your heart's all right, you'll do, you'll do. If your heart's all right, you'll do. In these days, when we long to make a positive impact in our world by sharing hope and compassion, we can be overwhelmed by feeling inadequate and incapable. But it is in the ordinary that we are called to make the wonderful every day. The Scottish evangelist and teacher Oswald Chambers wrote this. It is ingrained in us that we have to do exceptional things for God, but we do not. We have to be exceptional in the ordinary things of life and holy on the ordinary streets among ordinary people. And this is not learned in five minutes. What an encouragement for us all today. In these days, it is the small things done with great love that bring the wonderful every day. It's through putting our rubbish in the bin when we go out, greeting strangers as we walk past and maintaining those social distancing rules that we can show God's plan for creation. It's a friendly phone call encouraging message or kind card that have the power to bring something wonderful into somebody else's every day. A couple of millennium ago, the Apostle Paul wrote these words to the church in Ephesus. So be careful how you act. These are difficult days. Don't be fools, be wise. Make the most of every opportunity you have for doing good. What wiser words can there be for us too in 2020? To conclude, here are some words from a song by Tim Hughes, reminding us to recognise the presence of God in our everyday. God in my living, there in my breathing, God in my waking, God in my sleeping. God in my resting, there in my working. God in my thinking, God in my speaking. Be my everything, be my everything. God in my hoping, there in my dreaming. God in my watching, God in my waiting. God in my laughing, There in my weeping, God in my hurting, God in my healing. Christ in me, the hope of glory, you are everything. I pray that in the days ahead, you will see the wonderful every day 
and know the joy that simply comes from being alive. God bless you.